Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series, Translating and Analyzing, Much Ado About Nothing. We are halfway through Act 3, Scene 2. Claudio and Leonardo and Don Pedro have just been winding up Benedict because he's in love and he hasn't yet admitted it. And then the scene turns very sinister as Don John enters. My lord and brother, God save you. Don Pedro says, good den, brother. So here Don John is being very respectful to his brother and um you know referring to him as his lord and brother and don pedro says good evening brother don john says if your leisure served i would speak with you so if you're not too busy i'd like to talk to you don pedro asks in private do we want to have this conversation alone and don john says if it please you yet count claudio may hear for what i would speak of concerns him so he basically starts by saying well yes i would like to have this conversation in private although actually thinking about it Claudio might as well stay because what I have to say concerns him as well. Don Pedro says, what's the matter? You know, what do you want to talk to us about? And Don John speaks to Claudio then and says, means your lordship to be married tomorrow. Do you mean to get married tomorrow? Don Pedro says, you know he does. Interesting how Don Pedro answers what is ultimately a rhetorical question here, uh, just used to sort of bait Claudio and Don Pedro. But Don John answers, I know not that, when he knows what I know. In other words, well, when you know what I know, I don't think you will be getting married. Claudio then falls for it hook, line and sinker and says, if there be any impediment, I pray you discover it. If there's any reason I shouldn't marry her, please tell me. Don John says, you may think I love you not. Let that appear hereafter and aim better at me by that I now will manifest. For my brother, I think he holds you well, and in dearness of heart hath hoped to effect your ensuing marriage, surely suit ill spent, and labour ill bestowed. In other words, you may think I don't like you, but I hope you'll think better of me because of what I'm about to tell you. For my brother's part, I believe he has a high opinion of you, and because of his affection for you, he's helped to bring about your forthcoming marriage, which was surely a misguided effort. Why, what's the matter? asked Don Pedro. Why, what's wrong? And Don John says, I come hither to tell you, and circumstances shorten, for she has been too long a talking of, the lady is disloyal. Dun, dun, dun. He's saying, look, I've come here to tell you that, and to cut a long story short, because she's already been spoken about too long, she doesn't even deserve to be uh, on our lips, she is unfaithful. Claudio says, who? Hero? Can't believe it. Don Pedro says, even she... Uh, Leonardo's hero, your hero, sorry, Don John says. No, no, sorry, yeah, Don Pedro. Uh, yes, hero, Leonardo's hero, your hero, every man's hero. Claudio says, disloyal, you know, is she unfaithful? And Don John says, the word is too good to paint out her wickedness. I could say she were worse, think you of a worse title, and I will fit to her to it. Wonder not till further warrant. Go with me, go but with me tonight. You shall see her chamber window entered, even the night before her wedding day. If you love her then, tomorrow wed her, but I would better fit but it would better fit your honour to change your mind. So Don John basically gets straight to the point. He says, Look, the word unfaithful hardly covers the extent of her wickedness. She's worse than unfaithful. Think of some awful word, and I'll show how it fits to her. But don't try to work out what I mean. Wait for evidence. Come with me tonight. We'll go and look at her bedroom window the night before her wedding and you'll see somebody come in there and uh, spend the night with her. And if you still love her after that, go ahead and marry her. But honour would be better served if you changed your mind. May this be so, asked Claudio. You know, is that possible? And Don Pedro at first says, I will not think of, I will not think it. You know, I don't, I don't actually think this is uh, possible. Don John says, if you dare not trust that you see, confess not that you know. If you will follow me, I will show you enough. And when you have seen more and heard more, proceed accordingly. So he's saying, well, if you don't dare to risk seeing what she gets up to, then don't claim to know her. If you follow me, I'll give you all the proof you need. And once you've got that, then you can decide what to do. Claudio says, if I see anything tonight why I should not marry her tomorrow in the congregation where I should wed, there I will shame her. So this just heightens the tension because Claudio says, look, if I see anything that convinces me I shouldn't marry her, I am going to out her. I am going to shame her in front of the whole congregation who come to see us get married. 
and uh, it's a bit of a strange thing. Don Pedro says, and as I wooed for thee to obtain her, I will join with thee to disgrace her. So, yeah, well, I joined in you with you to try and sort of help you court her, and I will also help you to disgrace her. Don John says, I will disparage her no further to you are my witnesses. Bear it coldly, but till midnight, and let the issue show itself. So, I'm not going to say any more. Um, I'm not going to say any more bad things about her until you can see for yourselves. Keep calm until midnight, and then the events will speak for themselves. Don Pedro says, Oh, day untowardly turned. You know, today has turned into a disaster. Claudio says, Oh, mischief strangely thwarting. This unexpected evil deed has ruined our plans. And Don John says, Oh, plague right well prevented. So will you say when you have seen the sequel. So he's, you know, basically saying, Well, actually... Uh, when you've seen what's going to happen, you actually think it's a disaster that you were lucky to avoid. And so ends the scene. <laughs>